Hi there, today we're showing you TweetCaps, our social photography iPhone app. TweetCaps allows you to take a photo and add captions, labels, graphics, and emoticons to it and arrange it any way you like. Once you finish adding captions to your photo, you can share it instantly with your friends through Twitter or Facebook or email, all integrated within the app. Now let's take a photo and start adding some captions. We're going to pick Choose Photo and then grab this photo here from the test folder. We'll take this picture of kimchi and we'll start adding stuff. This picture was taken in landscape mode, but as you'll see in a sec, this won't be a problem. TweetCaps allows you to do editing in landscape or portrait mode. But for the purposes of this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to stick to portrait and use our cropping feature to show you how to adjust the photo. Tap the crop button on the menu bar to initiate the cropping screen. Once you're at the cropping screen, you can use our multi-touch controls to shrink and enlarge the photo and reposition it as needed. I'm just going to position uh, the photo here just to emphasize kimchi and her big white belly. With the photo all cropped and done, we can now start adding some captions. We're going to add our LOL text caption and start typing some stuff. As you can see, the text has actually gone off to the side, but this is easily fixed using TweetCaps' multi-touch controls for resizing, rotation, and positioning. So we'll just rotate this here, shrink it down a little bit, and it fits, no problem. Let's add another element here. As you can see, you can swipe through the selection of icons and labels and captions available. For now, let's use a thought bubble and uh, type in some stuff here for kimchi. And let's use the multi-touch controls here again to uh, adjust this thought bubble and place it properly so that uh, it's not blocking kimchi's face. Looks like there's enough room here to add an emoticon. Let's do that. We'll swipe through to the emoticon panel and grab one. And again, we'll just adjust it so that uh, it fits perfectly within that thought bubble. There we go. Now that we finished our masterpiece, we can just tap the send button at the bottom bar there. And you can see we can send it to Twitter, Facebook, email, save to the photo library, or just return to the main menu. We're going to go ahead and send this to Facebook. So we just tap Facebook. And here you can see we're already logged in to Facebook. I'm um, not going to show you the Facebook Connect in this demo. It takes too long. So we're going to go ahead and start typing in our caption. Now that our caption is done, we just press Upload. And it's going to take a few seconds to upload to Facebook. It comes back with a confirmation and asks you if you want to save it to your photo library. We're not going to bother saving it this time. So we're just going to tap No Thanks. And now we're back to our edit screen. Where I'm just going to press send again and we're going to show you the Twitter interface. So from here you can see that you can choose your various image hosts between YFrog and TwitPic as well as uh, what account you logged in under your Twitter and how many characters you have left in your tweet. So we're just going to type in something short here and send it off to Twitter. Just press send and we get a confirmation and again asking if we want to save it to our photo library. And that's TweetCaps. Version 1.0 is available in the iTunes App Store right now. And version 1.1 with the multi-touch, resizing, rotation, and cropping controls will be available very shortly. Also in 1.1, the watermark is an option you can turn off in the settings menu.